Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing sort of a holiday gift guide. You can also, of course, buy these things for yourself. They're just recommendations of things that I love. And then I also have some things that are on my wish list or things that I'm thinking about getting for someone else this year for the holidays. Before we get into it, if you are new here, my name is Tabitha. I would love if you would consider subscribing to this channel. I do hair videos and like random lifestyle and beauty content. So I would love to have you here and you can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it as well as check out my Instagram and my Twitter if you would like to. They're linked in my description box and let's get into it. All the products that I can link, I will link for you guys. So starting out with a staple, this is something that you can get for anyone, but it is probably going to be used more by someone who wants to stay hydrated and it is a water bottle. It's becoming a lot more popular for people to carry water bottles with them now, which is so good because the amount of water that I used to drink before I had a water bottle is disheartening and I must have just been walking around dehydrated all the time. Anyways, this is a Stanley water bottle. It is there. What's it called? I'm going to have to look this up because I'm not sure what the name of this one is. Okay, so this is the Ice Flow Flip Straw Tumbler, and this is their 30 ounce. They also have a 20 ounce, and I'm not sure if they have a smaller one or not, but I think this is the biggest one you can get in this style. And they are also coming out with this like limited edition one that they have. It's a lot bigger. It's not in this style, but I do really want to get that this year when it comes out. It's gonna be back in stock in like a week or something. And it's a 40 ounce tumbler, but it doesn't have the flip straw. It just has like a regular straw and a handle on the side. But anyways, I'm getting way ahead of myself. This one I love so, so, so much because it has this handle on the top. It has the flip up straw and it fits into cup holders because of this narrow bottom, which is absolutely incredible. I don't know why I had a Hydro Flask for so long and did not know about this water bottle. It has changed my life. Um, it does not leak like the Hydro Flasks sometimes will. And obviously there's way less chance of that happening anyways because you can put it in a cup holder and it has this handle that's so easy to carry around. I just love this water bottle so much. They have this white color. They also have like a dark gray and black one. And then they have a couple of colors as well. I heard about this water bottle because someone was talking about that large quencher tumbler that I just mentioned, the 40 ounce. I think Allie Glein's husband, I can't remember his name, but they did like a video together or he did a video or something talking about like his favorites. And he talked about that quencher tumbler. So I went on the Stanley website because I never thought about it really before. And I found this and yeah. I know I'm talking about this water bottle for so long, but it's just a life-changing thing. I'll pop up a picture of the quencher tumbler that I'm talking about, and I'll try to link it down below because like I said, it's coming back in stock in like a week and they're doing like limited edition colors. And this hasn't been in stock for like a year or something. So it's gonna be sold out fast, but this one is always in stock from what I've seen. And I just love it so much. Okay, moving on from that. I wanna talk about some jewelry because I think jewelry is such a good gift to give. If you know somebody and you kind of know their style, it can be pretty easy to figure out what kind of jewelry they like and get it as a gift for them because jewelry can be expensive and a lot of people don't wanna just buy that for themselves all the time. Obviously it depends on the person, but my go-to jewelry brand is Ana Luisa. You guys know I've worked with them in the past. This video is not sponsored by them. They didn't ask me to talk about them, but I genuinely love their jewelry so much. And I love the fact that they're doing sales a lot of the time. Right now they have a 20% off like sale for Black Friday. And I think they're also doing like buy one, get one 60% off or something like that. I'm not sure what all is going on, but I'll have it linked down below. These little earrings that I have in my front piercing with these pearls are from them. I don't know if you guys can really see them on camera, but I keep these in my ears all the time. I'm obsessed with them. They're like my favorite go-to earrings. I've had them in my ears for like months. I also have this necklace. I can't remember the names of these exact pieces, but I will have them linked down below. I believe the pearls though are called the Frida or something like that. Um, anyways, the other thing that I have from them that I literally wear all the time is this necklace. Let's see if I can get in closer. 
This is such a pretty necklace. It's so dainty. I love it so much. Hopefully you guys can see it. This is definitely a pretty like short. Oh, I got a hair. It's pretty like close to your neck. It's more of like a choker style, but a little bit longer than that. And it just has these really beautiful little like like gold bead looking things along the chain. And then the actual pendant is just this really pretty like sun looking pendant. It has like, I believe moonstone is what's in the middle. And then the outside is just gold. I believe most of their jewelry is like 14 karat gold plated, if I'm correct. And then another one of my favorites are these little earrings, these little like green gems. I don't know what they are, but they're so pretty. The hoop itself is a little bit thicker and I just love the way that it looks with these little dangles. I'm loving the small hoop look with the dangle or even with bigger hoops. I just think it looks so pretty. These actually were a gift from a friend because she knows how much I love Ana Luisa. So it just goes to show what a good gift jewelry is. And I think that I'm going to pick up the matching necklace to this because I think it's so beautiful. It's like a beautiful green and gold necklace it's just gorgeous and like a perfect match for these earrings and then you get these adorable little pouches with your jewelry that are perfect for traveling so i just went on a little trip and i put my necklace in this little pouch which actually have some earrings in here as well these are like bigger hoops from anna luisa they also have the dangle they're super pretty i love these ones and i wear them a lot for like special occasions like weddings or something so yeah i definitely recommend Ana Luisa and just getting jewelry as a gift for someone in general. Another jewelry brand that I really like, it's actually local, but they do have an Instagram page and an online website. It's called Foster Jewelry. I'll have their Instagram page linked down below and then you can go to their website from there. They have so many beautiful handmade pieces and this ring that I have on my first finger is actually from them. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that because my camera is kind of zoomed out far right now but anyways if i don't start talking faster this video is going to be so long but another thing that i want to recommend that is such a good gift is a good pair of like cozy slippers really anything cozy people love like good cozy blankets as well i don't have any specific ones here to recommend but i do have some slippers to talk about i talked about these skim slippers in my favorites video a couple months back I love these. I wear them around the house all the time because they're just so cozy and the bottoms are like this shoe kind of material. So it's not like you're getting fuzzy things and dirt stuck to it. I've had slippers like that in the past and I'm just not a fan, but they're open toed. So your toes don't feel claustrophobic. I love these so much and they are like $50 or something but it's a good thing to invest in for a gift. Although if you do want something more affordable, there are some from Amazon that have really good reviews and that I see people getting a lot. They're like the crisscross ones. I will link them down below and maybe pop a picture if I can remember, but they're very similar to this, but maybe a little bit more fluffy and bigger. And like I said, they have like the crisscross front and i haven't tried those but i've heard really good things about them and if you want something more affordable i think they're like half the price i'll link those down below if you want to check them out let's get into a couple of things that are like on my personal wish list that i haven't tried but i've heard nothing but good reviews and i have really high hopes and i think they would be great gift ideas so the first couple of things are things I've heard Jacqueline Hill rave about on her stories and I really, really want them. The first thing is this like mini stone fire pit thing. It's like a little, it's hard to explain, but I'll have a picture on the screen. It's like a little stone circle and there's like an actual flame that comes out of this thing and it looks so cozy and just incredible. It, it is definitely a little pricey, but I think that would make an incredible gift and I really want that for myself, to be honest. Another thing as well that I've heard her talk about is these like cloud slides that look so comfy. I'll also try to remember to put a picture of those up and link them for you guys, but I've heard great things about them from other people as well and they look so cozy and just comfy and I would totally wear those everywhere as well as in my house so i really want those and i think they would also make a great gift and then something that is really sort of random but i think it would make a really good gift and i want one myself is an air fryer so i know that 
so many people have air fryers and use them all the time in their kitchen. I love kitchen things. I love getting kitchen things as gifts. Um, my husband loves them too. And I would love to have an air fryer. I just haven't gotten myself one and maybe I'll put that on my Christmas list this year but I think it's a great gift to get somebody if they like to cook and they don't already have one that's like an easier way to cook a lot of things we're kind of doing a range of things here so I'm gonna get into a few like beauty care type of things this first thing is one again that I have not tried but I am dying to try it because I've heard rave reviews so the EOS body lotion in vanilla buttercream apparently this is like a really raved about thing in like the hygiene world and just in general people say that it's so creamy it smells amazing and i think that would be like a good affordable option to get someone instead of spending like 50 dollars on the something like the boom boom cream from sol de janeiro like i would love to get that and i want that i think it would also make a great gift but this is more affordable and apparently people act like it's just as incredible not like a dupe but still a really good body lotion that is like this delicious vanilla smell like it smells like cheesecake or something so i've heard great things and then some things that i have here myself that i really love something that i think is a really good gift but i know that not everyone has the same taste in is fragrance so perfumes cologne i am going to talk about a cologne at the end of the video i have like a few men's suggestions for gifts not like a whole list but some things which some of these things on here you can get for anybody but i wanted to focus on the end of the video being more geared towards like suggestions for guys but anyways i keep getting sidetracked in this video a perfume that i think is a really really great option to get for anybody that likes vanilla or sweet scents is this eau de toilette vanille from outremer paris you can get this on anthropology you can get it on a lot of different websites. I think you can get it on Amazon. It's like $18 for this bottle and it's a pretty bottle and it smells so, so good. It just smells like sweet vanilla, like cotton candy, taffy, homemade baked goods, like just sweet and vanilla. And anybody that likes sweet scents or likes vanillas or gourmands is going to like this perfume. It's such a good staple for that. Um, I don't have other perfumes here to recommend because everyone's taste varies. This is just like if you have someone that you know they like gourmands or vanillas or sweet perfumes, this is just such a good affordable perfume to get that doesn't look cheap. It doesn't smell cheap. It has like a really pretty bottle and it's just a nice gift. A couple of lip products. These aren't like makeup, but I have this Young Living uh, Lip Lux Oil. This is what it looks like. This is literally the best like lip oil treatment gloss i have ever used it's so glossy it feels really nice and moisturizing on the lips because it's literally oils and it just has a nice essential oil light scent if i can get it open and doesn't taste like nasty lip gloss but it looks so beautiful i love this so much another one if you don't have access to shop from the Young Living is this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This gives a very similar effect, but it's a little bit more of a balm texture, but it really looks so similar on the lips and you get so, so, so much product in this. It's definitely not cheap, but you do get a lot of product in this. The only thing is I don't love the packaging because this like metal sort of like tube really makes a mess, like it squeezes. And then when you open this, sometimes it'll like come out it also just has a nice light vanilla scent. The only annoying thing is the packaging, but this is such a good product and it's really, really cute. I just think it makes a good gift. I just wouldn't recommend for someone to put it in their purse. I just keep it in like my beauty room drawer. Another one that's a lot more affordable that I personally haven't tried, but I've heard great things about that is supposed to be very, very similar to these and give you the very similar like effect is the Kopari Lip Glossy. That one, the packaging isn't as cute, but it's supposed to be like that glossy lip treatment kind of product. People love that. So check that out if you want something more affordable. Another thing that you can really get for anyone in your life that I actually just got my husband these for his birthday this year, but they're these little, they're called tile trackers. This is what the box looks like. I just have this empty package here, but they're like these little square like tracker things that you can put on your keys. You can put it on like anything you really want. They also have like 
card ones that you can like put in your wallet and you have an app on your phone and it like connects with Bluetooth and you can track things so that you don't lose them. Like if you can't find your keys or something, you can just go on the app on your phone and track your keys with these little tile things, which I think is so cool. Such a good gift idea. Cause like, who's not gonna use this, you know? I mean, they are a little bit pricey, but again, that's kind of something that you can buy someone that they might not want to spend the money on themselves, but it's a good thing to have. So the tile trackers, I recommend those. And then there's always the no brainer gifts that everybody kind of always appreciates. And that is candles and mugs. If you know, you know, like it's a thing that when you don't know what to get a woman, you get her a candle or a mug. You can get a guy a mug too, you know, it just works. So I have some candles, but I wanna talk about these mugs first. The first one that I have here is from Target. This is the Hearth and Hand collection. And it's just this little, small, like speckled, cute, adorable mug. I love this mug so much. Every time my friends come to my house, they always want to use this mug because it's just cute. This was literally like $3.99 and I've already got this for someone for a gift because all of my friends just think it's cute, you know? It's just nice. Everybody wants to use this mug. It's a perfect little gift to give. I don't know if you guys can see the detail on camera, but it's so cute for how affordable it is. So I will link this down below. I love this little hearth and hand mug. I honestly just love hearth and hand in general, I'm sure that most of us do. And then there's also the option of going to the thrift store. Like this mug right here, I have two of these. I got a set at the thrift store and it's so, so cute. And if you can find something like this, it would make a really good gift. And it's like unique and not everyone has one. But you would be surprised at how cute of stuff the Goodwill can have sometimes or just any thrift store in general. But I found some really beautiful pieces, whether it's clothes or kitchen items or whatever. And I think these mugs are adorable and they would make a great gift if you can find something like this at your thrift store. Let's get into the candles. First, before I recommend any candles, I wanna to mention to consider shopping just locally. Depending on where you live, there are like so many options for boutiques and little shops that have like soy candles. Some of them are made locally and you can find like unique scents and cute packaging and just different things that again not everyone's gonna have it and you're supporting small businesses which is always good so the other option is just to find candles at like tj maxx marshall's home goods they have so many options a lot of them are soy candles if you are wanting something more natural and they're almost always less than like ten dollars so that's where i get most of my candles i have them all over my house so many that i could talk about i think that that's a pl great place to get candles and then i also do love hearth and hand candles like I said, I love Hearth and Hand. I have a few of their candles and I love them all. I just think they're good quality. They smell good. They're cute packaging, like you can't go wrong. And then I will talk about a couple of Bath and Body Works ones, just because I do have some I really love, but I'm not one of those people that's like die hard, only shop at Bath and Body Works for my candles because I do think there's a lot of other more affordable and better options out there. Um, but I do, I do like Bath and Body Works candles, I'm not gonna lie. The first scent that I recommend to everyone, this is so incredible. I can't imagine someone not liking this. This is the Welcome Home candle. And I also actually just picked up a double pack of the wallflowers because I just want my house to smell like this. This literally smells like flaky brown sugar crust, like cinnamon rolls right out of the oven. It doesn't smell overly sweet or overly foody or fake. It smells so realistic and literally just like you made some cinnamon rolls or some brown sugar pastry. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna say the notes on here. Okay, yeah. It says cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, and brown sugar with essential oils. This just, the scent kills me. It's so incredible, honestly. Obviously, it is a little bit more of like a fall winter scent because it's warm, but you could really burn this whenever you want because it just smells like baked goods. It's so incredible. And then the other one that I have here from Bath & Body Works that I don't know if you can get this right now because it's not always in stock. It'll just like randomly come in stock. It's their Paris Cafe scent and it just smells like coffee, like a latte. It's not super sweet or creamy. It's not like a cappuccino. It's more of a realistic coffee scent with a little bit of milkiness to it. Like it's a latte, a strong latte. It's not too sweet. 
but it's really, really good. People always smell this when they come over and are just like, oh, it smells so good. If you like coffee, you know. But yeah, those are the candles that I had to talk about. I know that some of this stuff is like in a random order, but I have to mention a Carhartt hat because this is such a good like gender neutral thing. You can get it for guys or girls. And I cannot find my Carhartt hat for the life of me right now, but I got the white one as a gift for Christmas last year. And I just think it's so cute. It goes so good with like every outfit. Maybe you're not gonna wanna get the white one for like a guy or something, but there's so many other options and colors. So I think a Carhartt hat is a really good gift idea for somebody that is into that. And then I almost forgot that I wanted to mention some jackets because I feel like layering is such a big thing this time of year and I have like accumulated so many jackets and a blazer this year that I just want to wear with everything and I feel like it's such a good gift to get somebody if you know their style. The first thing I have here is a blazer and I just got this one. It's the only blazer I have that I really see myself wearing a lot. I have a couple of other ones but they're a little bit more like you wear them with specific outfits. This one I feel like you can wear with so much because it's just a basic like plaid gray blazer. Like it really goes with so much. I don't know if I'm gonna get this all on camera, but I will try to remember to pop a picture on the screen of me wearing this. I've actually only worn this once so far, but I love it. I think it looks so cute with like a really feminine outfit, like um, a tight dress or something. It just, tones it down but still gives it like a sophisticated vibe and then you can also totally wear this with like jeans and a t-shirt to just dress it up a little bit there's so many options with something like this and i think that it's a good gift to get somebody like i said if you know their style leather blazers are also a really big thing right now i want one myself but i have so many jackets and i just don't know if i really need that but i do want a good leather blazer because it's just a trendy thing right now. But yeah, I really like this plaid one. And then I have some jackets here, you guys. These are not nearly all the ones that I have. Um, I also have some that I found at like thrift stores and things, but I just think who doesn't want a good jacket, you know? I have this, sorry for the loud traffic, you guys. I have this denim one. This is more of a light wash, but this is from Levi's and it has this soft, fuzzy, just like lining on the inside. So it keeps you more warm than a traditional denim jacket would and it has the little Levi's logo right here on the pocket. It's just a nice denim jacket that is warmer so you can wear it in the winter and it just looks good with a lot of outfits. I love this one so, so much. I found this at TJ Maxx, I think, for like 40 bucks. I got such a good deal on it. Then there's this one that I can't link for you guys because I found it is at a thrift store. There is a thrift store near me that sells like Zara clothes with the tags still on it. They have some connection with Zara where they have like a whole Zara section inside of this Goodwill. And it's like all has the tags on it. It's incredible. So this is the jacket. It's just this like white cream kind of oversized slouchy jacket. And it just has these cream colored buttons very simple but really just goes with like everything another thing that goes with so 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 much and i always get compliments on this one everyone wants a jacket like this for themselves because it's just so nice the last one here is this target jacket and this is a denim black denim jacket it's also an oversized fit a little bit slouchy and big and this also goes with so 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 much stuff i had this on my wish list last year and i didn't end up getting it so then this year going into fall i picked it up like right away because i wanted it for like the whole winter season and it's not like overly warm but it's big enough and like oversized enough that it like covers you if you know what i mean like when you have a thin jacket that's small it just does nothing but since this is so big it does keep you more warm because it's just more oversized and it's not like it's a thick denim so it still does something i just wouldn't wear this in like 10 degree weather you know but i really like that jacket as well and i think that is going to be it for like most of what i wanted to talk about in my video other than a few options for your guy or any man in your life some of these could also be like you could get them for anyone but i'm just talking about them here because some of these are things that i've actually gotten for my husband or i just think they're good gifts for a guy if you are lost and you don't know what to get 
for your man or any guy in your life. If he likes coffee, there's always the option of finding like a really good quality coffee. Maybe there's one that he's wanted to try or there's one that you guys have heard good things about. You can just get him a bag or two of like a really nice, expensive, good quality coffee. You can of course do that with like a liquor, like a whiskey or a rum, or even a wine as well. It's just like a good quality one that you, maybe you guys can try together or something. It's also a gift to yourself. But for my husband, he loves coffee. So like, that's always a good gift idea. Just like a really good quality, you know, splurge because it's a gift. Another thing that's kind of random, but my husband loves to wear t-shirts. So he likes to have a lot of t-shirts and sometimes just when it's his birthday or Christmas, I'll just get him a couple of everyday good quality t-shirts. Like his preferred brand is Under Armour. So that's what he likes, but you can always do Nike or literally any other brand. And that's like a staple for him because he doesn't like having all these extra things. So it's nice to just get him basics, like a nice basic hoodie or some nice basic t-shirt. He likes to have a lot of basics. And sometimes there's people that are more simple and they want more practical gifts. Obviously everybody is different, but my husband really likes more practical gifts and that's what he's gonna end up using the most. So I'll do that sometimes. He also loves hats. He has a lot of hats. And again, his preferred brand is Under Armour, but he also likes getting like a hat for a sports team that he likes. That's another thing. Like guys usually will like anything to do with their favorite sports team. So like you can get them a mug that has their favorite sports team or a hat or a freaking Christmas tree ornament. Joas has a Christmas tree ornament for the Detroit Tigers. That's like his favorite baseball team. He loves baseball. So that's just always kind of a thing that like a guy is gonna like, you know? Another thing that I got him last year for Christmas and he hasn't used this like a ton, a ton, but it has come in handy. And people that come over like to use this because it's just a good thing to have. It's this massager. And this I got from Jacqueline Hill's video last year, but she's talked about it before. I think she's like talked about this in videos even a couple years ago. It's just this like massager that you put over your neck like this, but you can also totally use it on your leg or your stomach or your lower back or however you want. Usually for most people, it's the shoulders. For me, my shoulders get so sore and that's what I would use it for. And it has these settings here. So there's like these balls in here that are like really intense and this digs into your shoulders and you can put your arms through these loops, if I can get my arms through here, through these loops and like use it to control the massager. It's incredible, honestly. I can't turn it on right now because it's not plugged in, but this is a really good gift to get for somebody. And I think it's like $50 on Amazon. So it's not a bad price at all. If I can get this thing off of me now. <laughs> and honestly, you can get that for like anybody, but I know that like depending on their job, a lot of guys can have really sore muscles and it's just a good gift. It's something that most people are gonna like, I feel like. Another thing that, and you know, this is gonna depend on the guy because just like everything else, all guys are different, all people are different. They're not all gonna like the same thing, but for like the guys in my life, most of the guys that I know, they like to every once in a while have like a nice, good quality cigar. You know, again, with just splurging a little extra for a gift that maybe they wouldn't spend themselves. But I've done this for my husband before, where I get him just like a good quality cigar that he can enjoy with a friend every now and then. You can just go on like cigars.com. I'll have the website linked down below. They have so many options and so many different price ranges. And if your guy is into that kind of thing, it's just a good gift. Another thing, like I mentioned earlier, fragrance, cologne. I went and stole this for this video, but this cologne is probably my favorite one on my husband. And honestly, this is such a talked about, like raved, hyped, cologne it's just really popular this is the dior sauvage and this is probably my favorite scent on my husband he has some other colognes that are really good but i love this one and this is just a really popular one a lot of people love this you really can't go wrong with it so this is just one but you can really do anything that you think they might like fragrance is just a good gift to get somebody if you know their taste and it's just like a nice luxurious kind of thing sort of like jewelry and then the last suggestion that I have for a guy is just like a set of cards like a basic set of cards or even like a poker set if they're into that kind of thing 
Again, like pretty much all the guys that I know have this game that they play called Euchre and it's like a form of poker and you just use a regular deck of cards for it. Maybe they want a new good quality set of cards or you could do, like I said, a poker set if they want something like that. It depends obviously on the guy, but most of the guys that I know like to play poker or Euchre, which is like just a card game that's sort of like poker, I guess. I don't know how to play it, but they just all love it and play it whenever we have get togethers. So anyways, that is pretty much it. I hope that this video helped you out in some way or that you just enjoyed it maybe. Maybe you found some ideas of things that you wanna get for yourself. I may have missed some things. I tried to curate a good collection of things that I think are good gift ideas, but there's always more. I just wanted to get this video up for you guys before Black Friday. So if you want to get things while they're on sale, you can do that. Again, I'm gonna have everything that I can linked down below. Leave me any other suggestions that you guys have for good gift ideas in the comments because I would like some good ideas too. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.